YouTube. Welcome back to my channel. I came on this channel saying at the beginning of the year that I was going to go on a no buy. Um, the no buy turned into a low buy, turned into a huge haul. So I am going to show you all of the things that I picked up. This is not a part of it. All of the things that I have picked up so far. This is also not a part of it. I'm just leaving these down here. Um, I am not regretful, not embarrassed. Uh, some of these things I wanted for video purposes and some of them I just wanted so I picked them up. But the first thing I picked up I did a video on and this is from Wet n Wild. And this one I specifically picked up to do a video on. And this is what I am wearing on my face today. And it is the Wet n Wild Rebel Rose Collection. This is the full box collection. This one is $59.99. I will open it up real quick just to kind of show you what it looks like. On the inside, all of your skincare is here at the top. And let's see if I can do it. Let's see if I can do it. And then, uh-oh. And then once you take this out, if I can get it out, all of the makeup is down here. This is well worth the sixty, the fifty nine ninety nine, sixty bucks, pretty much. Um, the skincare alone, these, this, 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 and this are like seven ninety nine a piece, and then you have all those four ninety nine, whatever. It is worth it if you can. Spend the $60 just to get it all as one collection instead of buying them separately. Um, the one, I think, non-makeup item I picked up, I saw on somebody else's video and I wanted to get it. It is in from, from Impressions Vanity. And this is the Touchpad 2.0 LED Makeup Mirror. And I am going to blind you all. This is what the mirror looks like. So it looks like a tablet. And you open it up this way. You, well, you open it up this way and then this is your mirror and your mirror lights up very brightly. So I picked that up. I plan to do a video on this mirror. I really, really like it. I used it to put my makeup on today and it came right in handy. The first thing that made me go off the rails with the no buy is because Mally had a Today Special Value on QVC. She has not had a Today Special Value on QVC in a while, so of course I had to pick it up. And it is the Mally Superstar 12-piece Eye Brightening Hero Collection. And I'll pull this out so you can see it. This is what the collection looks like. So you have three of her um, dark circle correctors here. You have three of her Evercolor Shadow Stick Extras here. You have three mascaras and then you have three black eyeliners. I could not pass this up. I used to be like a big, big fan of her Volumizer, ma volumizer Mascara. I like really don't see that anymore. I mean, if I go on QVC, I can find it. But it's like they're pushing more of the newer mascaras. And this one I really like, which is the Lift and Curl Mascara. I don't want to open this one because I have one from before that's open. The wand does like a bit of a curl. And it's one of those sort of plasticky, I don't know how to describe it, wands. But it sort of grabs your lashes and pulls them up. This eyeliner is really creamy and really pigmented. So I like that. So we had to pick this up. We had to pick this up. Um, I am going to randomly jump into my basket full of stuff here. What I think I'm going to do is just show you everything I picked up from BH Cosmetics first. Now, initially I was ordering from BH Cosmetics because um, on my sister and my my other channel um we are doing a giveaway once we get to 200 subscribers so i went on bh cosmetics because i wanted to purchase the desert dusk um palette for a giveaway and i just ended up ordering a bunch of stuff so the first thing i picked up 
is the Royal Affair brush set. And I took all of those out of the box. One of them I used today for my makeup, which was this one. So it's a little dirty. But you get 10 brushes. And they look like this. And I like these little purple and pink um, handles. And the handles are like metal. But they are really soft. And they are cruelty-free brushes. So I picked this set up. I think I got it um for 50 percent off i couldn't get to kohl's to pick it up so when i saw that it went on sale on bh cosmetics i went on and picked it up i think kohl's had it for like ten dollars or something crazy like that but couldn't get to kohl's so i picked it up from there before the whole brush set disappears i picked up of course the desert oasis palette for myself and one for a giveaway this is what this palette looks like it is beautiful so I couldn't buy one to give away if I didn't own one for myself so picked up that I also picked up the love in London palette I didn't pick up that hanging in Hawaii I think it is because it just looked too familiar to other things that I own so I picked up the love in London and I may do a video with a look using this one and the Desert Oasis. Uh, is that it? Oh, is that it from BH Cosmetics? Yeah, that I think that's it. Cause it was a, the, the two Desert Oasis palettes, the Love in London and the brush set. And I think that's all that I picked up from them. Then... I think everything else in here is from Ulta. Oh, this came free. This is a liquid eyeliner from BH Cosmetics. This came free with my order. This I got from Target um, when I went up there with my son one day. And this is the Elf Opposites Attract palette. I have been looking at this and seeing videos on it. And people are talking about how nice it is. So I wanted to pick it up. I used it for work one day and I, I kind of liked it. So we shall see. This I picked up from Walmart because. What else did I get? Oh, I think I got these from Walmart as well. Um, because I got a request on the other channel that I shared with my sister to do a review of the Rimmel eyeshadow palettes and I'm assuming that these are the ones so I just picked this up so we could review it and then I picked up two of the liquid katsu high shine lipsticks from there I got one in this one is in cedar later and this one is in mauve over girl so I picked up those two uh I think that is it for what I picked up. Oh, no. I picked this up from the store as well. This one reminds me of the Revolution shadows that I haven't picked up. So, I saw this and I was like, oh, might as well try this one. This is from Hard Candy. It is the Glitterazzi Eyeshadow Duo. And it looks like that. And I am going to swatch the glitter. The glitter reminds me of one of those Stila, um, those Stila glitters. And then this is just the eyeshadow part here. Just the sort of shimmery eyeshadow part and then the glitter. So this is what those look like. I just thought this was really pretty and I wanted to try one. So I just picked one up. Um, I believe now that everything else is from Ulta. Two of the items, I saw a video from Nunu. And let me go ahead and pull those out now. And I think I got the exact same colors that she got because when she swatched them, they were absolutely gorgeous. So I had to get them. And they are the e.l.f. Luminous Blushes. I got one in Brilliant Mauve. And I think Brilliant Mauve is the one that the pan is completely loose from the... Yeah, the pan comes completely out of the packaging. But that's all right. So, I'm just going to swatch this one. I mean, when she swatched these, I was like, oh no, we have got to get those. That is the Brilliant Mauve. And I also picked it up in, this one is Radiant Peach. 
And actually, Brilliant Mauve looks like it should be Radiant Peach. Doesn't that look peachy? It doesn't look mauve at all. This one looks more, I don't know. But this one is Radiant Peach. And I will swatch that one. And this one here is the Radiant Peach. So we got those. Thank you, Nunu. We got those. And I don't want to call her an, an enabler, but you know, I'm not going to blame this all on my own self. All right, let me wipe those off real quick. Uh, we picked up, or I picked up rather, two of the new Revolution or Makeup Revolution London palettes, the Reloaded palettes. This one is in Affection. And I'll open it up. And I think I used this one. No, I haven't used this one yet. I just got it. So this is the one in Affection. This color right here by my finger drew me in. And I will swatch that one. That color is amazing. So the whole reason for buying the palette and then I picked up a colorful one. I haven't seen like really colorful reloaded palettes, but I got this one in Passion for Color. This one is all shimmery. No, you have like two mattes, I think. Maybe three. I don't know. Anyway, this is what the Passion for Color palette looks like. I think I heard somebody say that they improved their formula, and this feels really creamy. This is that blue right here at the top right here I need this cuz I'm doing some swatching I'm gonna swatch this green one right here and that's right there and then I want to swatch this one right here and that is that one and we are gonna also swatch this pink one dead center And we'll put it right here. This one, I feel like it's a matte, but it's pretty. It's a little bit purpley pink. Um, if you want me to do a video on these two palettes, please let me know and I will do it. I was excited to see a colorful palette like that from um, Makeup Revolution. Because they normally, what they were doing is sort of using these palettes to do like higher end palettes, but they are sort of branching out to do like unique to their own brand type collections with these palettes. And I picked up, and this is also Makeup Revolution. I picked up two of their cut crease canvas sort of eye bases. It's called the Full Coverage Eyeshadow Base. I got it in the shade Etch, which is the deepest. And I thought I might want a lighter color. So I got it in the shade Create, which is the medium shade. So this is what they look like. This is Etch and this is Create. I think this one will really make the eyeshadow pop. And they, this one I didn't open yet. They come with this little brush. And you got to kind of wipe some of the product off because it, uh, it has a lot of product on it. But it comes with this little brush here that's supposed to make it a little bit easier for you to oops, create the cut crease. We'll see. We'll see. I am probably going to try it as an eyeshadow base and to use it to try to sort of improve my cut creases. And we'll see how that works. I picked up a couple of... Because I think I was like buying the wrong colors of stuff. So I went back and reordered from e.l.f. The 16 hour camo concealers. I picked it up first in Deep Olive. And I think Deep Olive is a little bit off. I do have it on under my eyes today and it's okay. But I went back and got it in Deep Chestnut. Because Deep Olive was a little bit off for me. And I got mad when I went to my local store and they had like 12 shades of beige. They didn't have anything for a woman of color and I know these things come in darker colors. So I ordered them from Ulta. So I'm also gonna do a 
video with these sort of a wear test it won't be a try with me because i've already used it a couple of times and i pretty much like it the brush and the whole like the whole packaging it reminds me of the tart shape tape that is the jumbo doe foot applicator that comes in there so I picked those up so be looking for a video on these be looking for a video on these be looking for some videos on those eyeshadow palettes so lots of videos to come I also picked up from elf the color correcting stick and I thought to use this just on my eyelids to kind of um get rid of that redness on my eyelids and this one is in it's, it says it's dark circles for light skin tone. Because it's for my eyelids, I don't care that it's a lighter orange. That other orange was a little bit too red, but that is what it looks like. And that is what it blends out like. So I'm going to use that for my eyelids just to get rid of the redness before I um, do my eyeshadows. Um, we are down to the last. I picked up from Physicians Formula, which is not a brand that I use often because I don't think they check it for us, so I don't check for them. The Butter Highlighter and the Butter Bronzer. I have been wanting to try the Butter Bronzer for a while. They recently came out with deeper shades, so I picked it up. But what I have here is the Rose Gold, and this is what the packaging looks like. This is a Rose Gold Highlighter, which I think think is pretty and would look really nice on women of color I will swatch that and it is so smooth I love it and that color is gorgeous and we will see let me see let me see let me use one of these here new brushes I'm gonna use this one and let's see what it looks like on my cheeks here let's do this one Listen, I need a mirror because I can't see what the heck I'm doing. I'm just doing things all types of crazy here. Give me a mirror. Let's use this big thing. And hope I don't block my face when I'm doing it. Okay. I think you can see my cheek. Yes. I like it. I'm covering up all of my, oh yes, we got to put that on the other side. I'm covering up all of my blush with it, but that is very pretty and it goes with the, the makeup that I have on today. All right. So, so far so good. That one is, I think, women of color friendly. It doesn't look ashy, I don't think, anyway. Um, and then I picked up the Endless Summer Butter Bronzer. We're going to try this one right now, right here, too. I am not going to do a separate video on these things. Uh, let's see if we can get it out of here. They smell good. They smell sort of like the beach or something, like summer, like coconut or something. But this is the Endless Summer. Ooh, let's see. All right, this is a, we're going to use this brush. This is a bronzer and not a contour. I'm just going to try to remember it that way. And does this one have a mirror in it? Yeah. This one has a mirror in it and it has this little foam brush, which I don't know why you would use a foam brush with this, but, oh yes. Let me do it on the other cheek because I can see it and I can't believe that. Yes, do you see that? And we can put it down here. I can actually see this on my face. Unbelievable. Oh, that makes me happy. 
although I don't think that this would work for every woman of color I think they need to come out with some darker colors and I think they have one that's meant for a contour that's a little bit darker than this that would be useful for women of color and I think that's it I am impressed by that physician formulas butter bronzer right now I can't believe it I didn't think it was going to work but I wanted to try it anyway that is it you all that is what I picked up that is what I am unapologetic about um we're gonna try to control our spending as far as makeup is concerned for the next few months I don't know if something nice comes out, I am probably going to buy it. I'm going to try not to buy so much of it. But the no buy thing is just not a thing that can work out for me. Thank you all so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you are already subscribed to my channel, please make sure you hit that notification bell so you know when I have a new video coming out. Have a great day and may your day be as flawless as your makeup. Bye.